for 10 bucks. Um, definitely highly recommend them. If you don't have one today, don't worry about it. You don't have to use it. I just want to start implementing certain things that you may have at home. If you have one of these physio bands, the long ones, you can make it into one by knotting it up and then making it shorter as you need it. Okay, so there's my little, my little education session today. So thanks for coming today. We're going to get started. We're going to start with a warm-up, so what I'd like you to do is put your hands right behind your ears, spread those fingers, and I want you to squeeze the shoulder blades nice and snug, so you're going to feel the shoulder blades squeezing. We're going to do a squat and a good morning, so all I want you to do is squatting it down, then hinge from the hips, yeah, squatting it down, and then hinge from the hips, okay? So the key here is that your knees don't go past your toes. And on that hinge forward, we're only hinging from the hip and we're not rounding. That's fine, okay? Really think about your posture here. So the elbows want to do this, right? The whole point is, is that we're squeezing the shoulder blades together. Down and again, hinging forward. Just warming it up. So if you're doing this with me live, we want to make sure that we're getting nice and limber this morning, right? Getting started right. So we haven't really been moving yet too much. Down and press. Last one, down. Good, squatting it. Let's get those arms down. So they're gonna get nice and tight. We're gonna hold it into a squat a little bit more narrow. We're gonna squat for two, and then tap it out. Squat for two, and tap it out. Squat for two, and tap, yeah? Down for two, and tap. Down for two, and tap. And just remember, this is just a warm up, right? So we're not wanting to be completely fatigued, exhausted before we get started with the actual workout. Keep your chest lifted here. Good, don't forget to breathe. And press, down for two. And tap, down for two. And tap, give me one more. And tap, let's take it down to the floor. We're gonna bridge it up and down. Feet come close to your bum, hands down beside. We're gonna bridge it up and down, ready? Up and down, up and down. All I want is warm up those glutes, warming up those hamstrings, warming up your lower back. So if you worked with me yesterday, you might feel a little bit of tightness in those thighs, right? So this is how we wake up all those muscles, squeezing it up and down, let's go. Lift, down, squeeze them glutes, here we go. For eight, seven, good. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Let's come right back up. Don't come up too quickly. We don't want you all dizzy. Hands behind your ears. Let's do that again. Squat and good morning. Down, good morning. Yeah, squat, good morning. And again, squat and good morning. Good, with that good morning, we want to make sure we're pressing into the heels. I don't want you feeling this in that lower back. Down and press, keep your back nice and flat on that good morning. Squeeze your shoulder blades, keep those elbows open. Yeah, not here. Okay, open it up. Give me two more. And over, last one, squat. Good morning. And release. All right, keep your feet a little bit closer together. Squat and tap. Two pulses. One, two, and tap. One, two, at the top. There you go. One, two, and tap. One, two, and tap. One, two. Right, so focus today is booty and legs. Yeah? Down and tap. Now, just because it's booty and legs focus, doesn't mean that the rest of the body ain't working, right? 
Get that cardio run at the same time. Good. Give me one more. And tap. Laying it down on your back. Back to the bridges. Hands down beside. Bridging it up and down. Pelvic tucked in. Ready? Let's go. Up. Up. Yeah. Lifting it up. Woo. Go, go, go. I can feel all my muscles from yesterday's workout. Right? So if you were with me yesterday, you're going to feel everything waking up right now. And lift. Lifting it up. Exhale out. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! One more round. Hands go behind. Don't come up too quick. Squat. Good morning. Let's go. Down. Hinge. And again, down, hinge. So my feet are a little bit wider on this one. And hinge, good, seeing those heels. Down, and hinge, good work. And again, down, and hinge. We got this, down, and hinge. Are we warming up a little bit through the hips, lower back, right? Keep your shoulder blades squeezed together, two more. And hinge. One more, and hinge, and hold it right here. Squat, two pulses, one, two, and tap. One, two, and tap. So now I'm going a little bit more narrow on my squat, right? Down for two, and tap. Down for two, and tap, yeah? Woo! Wiki wiki, and lift. Come on, our muscles will love this when we're done, right? And tap. And tap. We got this. Good job. And press. Two more. One more. Bridging it out, lying on your back. Notice I don't really do a lot of them. Just enough to wake up your body. Heels come in closer, hands down on the floor. Bridging it up and down. Up and down, up and down, there we go, up and down. So a warm up could be anywhere from three minutes all the way up to 10 minutes, and this really depends on your workout, right? So if you have a workout, what we're doing today, shorter workout, like five to 10 minutes is plenty, and then jumping right into the exercises. Some workouts, especially if you go a little bit heavier, you might need a little bit more of a warm up. But the truth is, sometimes it's an individual thing too. If you're more of a beginner, you're gonna need a longer warm up, okay? Two more. Last one, and release. Let's pull those knees in. Let's give yourself a gentle rock side to side. Now, if you have a mini band, we're gonna wrap it around the upper part of those knees. Which mini band you're gonna choose will be up to you. You're gonna take it right up above those knees. If you don't have one, don't worry. Let's have some water. Woo. All right. We're going to start with squats. <laughs> Why not, right? All right. We're going to take the dumbbells on top of the shoulders. And we're going to squat it up and down, staying in those heels. But the band adds that I have to push out, which means my abductors have to work a little bit harder. All right, 45 seconds, squatting it down and up. Easy peasy, right? Ready? Here we go. Down, pressing it up. So this is not as silly, as fast as you can go. I'm going to have a good tempo, but not super crazy fast. Again, if you don't have a band, it's no big deal. I just want to throw it out there. But if you come across these bands, you can go, wait a minute, I need myself, I need to get myself a pair. Down and press. Good, pressing up, there's 30 seconds, we've got 15 more seconds to go, then we're gonna switch it up to a reverse lunge. The whole time, we're gonna keep this band on. So it's gonna feel a little different, especially with the band on. And push, good. Inhale, exhale, give me one more. 
and release. Dumbbells go right beside your hips. We're going to go into a reverse lunge, right back alternating. If you have the band, it may slide up on you, so make sure that you adjust it. Ready, set, and go. Setting it down. Setting it down. So the band is going to add a little bit more resistance, but also it's going to keep you a little bit more narrow. Okay? If you go too wide, you're going to you lose that band. Good. Pressing it down. Also, we're going a little bit more with speed here. Pressing it down. Up and down. Good work. Press it down. Right? So depending on the resistance, that will also have a factor in how hard this is. Press it. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Good job. Keep going. Down and press. Stay in your heels. Woo! Good job. Last one. And hold. We're going to keep one dumbbell. We're going to do an offset deadlift, which means we're going to be staggering our legs. One forward, one back. We're going to go down and up. Okay, ready? Down and up. Now notice my dumbbell goes to the inside of that foot. My back stays nice and flat. Yeah? My legs are not fully locked, right? So I want to make sure that I have a slight bent to my knees. So this front leg is what I'm focusing on, and I'm focusing on that glute. Down and up. Good work. Here we go. Down for two. Up for two, right? So it's about a two second down, two second up. If you don't have free weights, you can have a water bottle, right? You know what to do. Woo! Are we warm? Give me one more and done. Good. Let's switch to the other side. Staggering your legs, softening those knees a little bit. Switch hands. Shoulders down and back. Again, if this follows you over back, then you might be rounding too much. So push it back. Ready? Here we go. Down for two. Up for two. So your front leg heel is taken away. Yeah? Good job. Down for two. Up for two. Down for two. Up for two. So it's good to maybe look at future equipment, especially if you're going to be doing some of these workouts at home. Maybe you're going to start going to your gym as well, right? Good job. Press it up. 20 more seconds. Pushing it up. So you should feel this in that front leg, all the way up the hamstring, into that glute. No lower back work, yeah? It is a low back semi-exercise, but I don't want you to feel all the discomfort right there. You want to feel the back of the leg. Yeah. And time. Good job. We're going to keep the dumbbell in front. We're going to hold it just underneath. We're going to do a lateral lunge and then back to the center with or without the band again. Shoulders down and back. Ready, set, and go. So stepping into it, one leg is stretching, one leg is bending. Yeah? Down we go. And press. Down we go. And press. You're doing awesome. Booty work, leg work, yes. Down and press, good work. Woo -hoo -hoo. Come on, press it out. I'm gonna do two sets of this today, right? So once we've done all the exercises, there's six of them. We've got one more to do after this. And we're gonna run this whole circuit one more time through, and then you can decide if you have different bands to make it put a lighter or a heavy one on, right? And press, good. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, and time. Let's go right down to the mat. If you want to keep your dumbbell, you can keep it on your hips for extra resistance. We're going to go up, abduct, and come back down. Look in the outer thighs. Ready, set, and go. Up, out and in, and down. Again, if you don't have that dumbbell, I mean that dumbbell, sorry, the band, that's totally fine. Right? We can do abductions without a band. I really want you to press into those heels. And you don't have to go super wide with those legs, just enough to feel the resistance on the band if you have one, or just abduct, right? If you want to make this harder, you can have your feet elevated on a chair. Yeah, we can make these things harder, right? On your second round, if that's what you choose to do. 15 more seconds. Woo, come on. Lift it and extend. Feeling those glutes? Five, four, three, two, and time. Good. We're going to come right back up. We're going to go 
flat to your squats. Dumbbells on the shoulders, squatting it up and down. Don't get up too quickly. In four, three, two, and time. Down and lift. Down and lift. Down and lift. Right, so those glutes are going to be working and your adductors, the outer thighs, are going to be working a little bit harder because of the band. Down and press. Down and press. Good work. Pressing it up, hinging from the hips. Right, so that's why we did that little warm up in the beginning, making sure we get nice and limber before we go into these kind of workouts. And press. Down and press. We got 10 more seconds. Woo! Come on, squeeze those glutes. Oh yeah, four, three, two, and time. Reverse lunges, dumbbells down to the side. Switch it up to a heavier weight if you need to. We're gonna take it back into your reverse lunge, alternating in four, three, two, and go. Down and up, down and up, down and up. And you might find that the band rolls up a little bit, right, so keep your legs a little bit more narrow and find a band that gives you enough resistance and tries to stay put. I find sometimes having shorts on may not work as well. So pants give you a little bit more barrier between the band and your skin. Pressing it back, pressing it back, pressing it back. You're doing amazing. Come on. 15 seconds on the side. Woo! Down and press. Down and press. Down and press. Five seconds. You got this. And time. One dumbbell only. Staggered stance. Deadlift. Okay? So one leg forward. One leg back. Staggering those legs just slightly. Deadlifting it down. Ready? Down for two. Up for two. Yeah? Down for two. Up for two. Keep your back nice and flat. And again, if you don't have the band, you're just standing your legs, and your main focus is that front leg. Yeah? Don't lock that knee out. Whew. Right? If you're locking the knee out, a lot of stress there. Whew. If you're somebody who's a veteran and working out, you probably have your own little technique and form, and that's totally fine. So long you know it works for your body, and so long you know it's safe. Right? And pressing it up. Ten more seconds on this leg. Woo! Come on. Butt work. Let's do this. Buttons of steel. And time. Switching legs, switching hand. Yeah? Softening those knees a little bit. We're not bending. We're just softening the knees. Stride comes a little bit more narrow. Ready, set, and go. Down for two. Up for two. Down for two. Up for two, yeah? Down for two. Up for two. Down for two. Up for two. Down for two. Oh, feels so good. And up we go, come on. Down for two. Up for two, yes. Down for two. Up for two. Down for two. Up for two. Up for two. Ooh, 15 seconds. Up for two. Balance. <laughs> up for two. Good job. Down and up. Four, three, two, and release. Good job. We're going to go right into your lateral lunges, holding onto the dumbbell, stepping inside, alternating right, left in four, three, two. Are you ready? And go. Lateral lunge. Keep your chest lifted, look in front of you. Lateral lunge, yes. Woo, come on. Press it out. Press it out. We want to feel this working, not just right now, but we're going to feel this a little later today, maybe tomorrow. And that's why a good class to do tomorrow is your yoga Pilates fusion, right? So we get everything nicely stretched out and also working, really focusing on that core work. 10 more seconds. Come on, push it. Oh, four, three, two, lean right down. If you want to do three sets today, 
after this one, you are more than welcome to stay here for one more set, put me on pause, and then come back to the other exercises that we're going to do after this. Totally up to you. Four, three, two, let's go. Bridge, out and in, and down. Up, out and in, and down. You want to put a dumbbell on your hips. You can add that resistance, right? If you want your feet elevated, elevate them. If you do not have a band, no big deal. Come on, I've thought about everything here. I'm thinking about all of you, that there's no excuses for you to not do this, right? Exercising health and fitness is a lifestyle. This is not just what you do for one day, and then maybe not for a week and then do it one day, right? It has to be some sort of commitment and sacrifice of time, but it's a good sacrifice of time. Last one, and release. Good job. And you always feel so good when we're done. Let's grab some water. You're not gonna lose that band if you have it. You can switch it up if you want. All right. We're gonna start in our next segment of six different exercises. We're going to do a squat, jump, and we're just going to rotate and rotate, rotate and rotate. So it's a small little jump, corner, center, over, and center. 45 seconds. Then we're going to do a knee up, keeping that resistance. So getting that cardio going again, okay? So again, if you don't have a band, no worries. So those are our first two. I'm not going to run them all through because I'm just going to confuse you. All right, we're going to start with those squats with a little bit of that quarter hop to one side, center, other side. Four, three, two, let's go. Squat, hop. Yeah? Right? So getting that cardio going a little bit, nice and soft landing. If that's too much for you, step. 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 Yeah? Step. 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 Come on, booty legs. I did call it, right? There's no surprise here. Woo! Come on. You don't have to squat deep. Just enough to feel those muscles engaged. Ten more seconds. Mm -hmm. We got this. Four, three, two, and time. Woo! Okay, from there, we're gonna do that little knee up with a little bit of a double hop in there. Ready? In five, four, three, two. Let's go. You can keep your hands on the hips. You can keep them in front of you. Working those hip flexors a little bit here. Come on, get that cardio up. 30 more seconds. We're going to go into a prisoner squat, just like we did with your warm up, with your hands behind your head, and then we're going to do a nice little squat with a leg extension behind you. Yeah? Woo! Come on, 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, and time. So if that band moves on you, that's totally normal. All right, we're gonna do a squat, leg raise, squat, leg raise back. Really thinking about those glutes when we're kicking it back. In four, three, two, let's go. Down, lift, down, lift. Now what I'm not trying to do is arching my lower back, I want my glute to do the work. Down. Right, so we're not doing this. Right, squeeze your bum. Squeeze your bum. No band, no problem. You still can do this totally with no band. Flex your foot and really get that bum to do the work. 10 more seconds. After this, we're gonna do a nice little low squat. And we're gonna do a side step. Woo, five, four, Three, two, and time. All right, we're gonna hold it here. Low squat. We're gonna step it three steps to the side and one calf raise. Yeah? Get ready in four, three, two, and go. One, 
two, three, calf raise. One, two, three, calf raise. How low can you go here? Two, three, calf raise. One, two, three, calf raise. Woo! Come on. Calf raise. One, two, three, calf raise. You feel the burn? You're welcome. <laughs> and lift. Come on, especially if you go low. Right? We don't want to be standing on this one. <sighs> Almost there. Five more seconds. Oh. Woo. And over. And time. Squat jumps. We're going to hold it right here in the center. And we're going to squat jump it right here from the floor. Okay? In five, four, three, two, go! <sighs> Switching hands. If you don't want to hop, just raise those heels, right? So we're going to raise them up, raise them up. <sighs> or hop for that extra cardio. He says there's no cardio today. <sighs> Good. Lifting it up. Lifting it up. Make sure you're bending from those hips, right? We're not just doing this, right? We're going down. <sighs> down. <sighs> down. <sighs> down. <sighs> down. <sighs> Down. We got this. Come on. I had my own this morning. What did you have? Four, three, two, and time. Plank position. All today in toe tops. So what is that going to look like? Right here. Tapping it out. Right left. Okay. Woo. In four, three, two, and go. Tapping it out. Go as wide as you can. Give it a little bit more dance. Yeah? You got that band, right? If you don't have the band, you can do any workout, okay? That's the beauty. Don't stop. Keep going. You can do any workout with any tools. We just have to get creative, right? That's all. Keep going. Keep going. You're so not done. Woo! Tapping it up for 10 more seconds. Ready? 10 more seconds. Come on. Four, three, two, and time. Woo! Slowly come up. Quarter hops. Popping it. Center. Popping it. Yeah? Five, four, three, two. Let's see it. Quarter. Yeah? Little quarter turns. If you can hop deeper, go take it deeper. Right? Me having that band on, I'm also working my abductors. Right? So I'm working right to the outside of those hips and push. The band also helps. If you're somebody with knee issues, I would definitely highly suggest for you to try to find a band or make your own, as I was showing you earlier with those physio bands. You can get them probably from your physiotherapist, um, and if you cut them to size, you can make them shorter if you cannot find them. We'll stop. We're not done. <laughs> go, go, go. Four, three, two, and one. Me up with that little double hop in the middle. Yeah. Woo. Get that cardio going. In five, four, three, two, let's go. A little double hop in there. Come on. Feel like you're five. Woo! Have some fun. You have your kids at home. They can do this with you. It's important to get them moving as well, yeah? Come on. Let's press it up. Double hop in the middle. Woo! Yeah. How's that cardio? It's good, right? We should be nice and warm. It's always tease you into it nice and slow. And then you end up here where you go, dear, I'm sweating, I'm working. And that's what we want. Lower your hand. You're right here. <laughs> Come on. Four, three, two, and time. Prisoner squats with taking the legs straight back behind you, right? So we're going to go down, lifting it back behind you, working those nice glutes of yours. And four, three, two, and go. 
So prisoner squats, I really want you to keep going, don't stop. I want you to really think about that squeeze of the shoulder blades again. So we're also working on your posture. Down. So a lot of times when we're in this position, it's like, oh, my arms, because we're here, right? So if you're not on a computer right now, it's really important for us to do some movements that require us to open up the chest, sit back into it, looking in front of you, and press, come on. Woo, so close. Five, four, three, two, and time. Low squat, three steps to the side with the calf raise, yeah? It's warm. All right, sit down into the lowest squat that you can. Hands to the front, three steps, let's go. One, two, three, whoop. One, two, three. Go basketball, yeah? To pretend basketball. Throw in the hoop. One, two, three. Throw in the hoop. One, two, three. Throw in the hoop. How low can you go? Come on, don't cheat on this one. You should be feeling this with or without the band. 15 seconds, we're almost there. Come on, push it up. Go, 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 one half an hour in. You're doing amazing. Press it up. Four, three, two, and time. Good job, shake it out. We're gonna do it to your jump squat, touching the floor, popping it up. If you cannot touch the floor, do not worry about it. You don't have to go that low. Ready, keep that tension on the band if you have one. Ready, and go. Popping it up, or don't. Make sure you bend from the hips. Push into those heels when you go down. The nice thing with the band here is that everything aligns, right? We're not popping our knees in and out, don't stop. Keep going. 20 more seconds. Come on, sit back. Woo! Are right, your legs? Ten more seconds. Five more seconds. And time. Plank position. Tapping those legs. Right, left. Yeah. Woo. Down to those elbows in five, four, three, two. Let's go. Tapping it out. Higher impact. If you're doing that low, make sure your lower back is good with it. Stay going. Don't stop. Come on. You've got 20 more seconds. Let's do this. Out and in. Out and in. Are your hips level with your shoulders? They're not here, right? They are down here. Bum down. Come on. So close. Five, four, three, two, and time. Woo. Good job. Nice work on your two rounds. Again, if you want to do three, put me on pause. Do a third round in there. This next round, we're only going to do one. And again, you can do more at the end um, as you wish. We're going to go on all fours. Tuck one foot under. We're going to do a little donkey kick up to the ceiling. So again, I'm using my band. You don't have to. To kick it up with some resistance, right? So we're going to do one leg. If you need some cushioning under the knee, you can use cushioning, okay? In five, four, three, two, let's go. I'm not tapping my knee back down, okay? I'm keeping it off the ground the whole time, and my focus is my heel pushing up to the ceiling. So it's like I'm trying to press something up towards the ceiling. Okay, so really trying to use that resistance, pressing it up, pressing it up. Use something underneath the knee, right? You always want to protect the knee. If you have the band, 
You're going to feel this not only on the working leg, but also on the supporting leg. If you don't have a band, you're going to feel this mostly on your supporting leg. Woo! Good job. Four, three, two, and release. Good. Other leg. And the problem with these bands sometimes is, depending on what times you have, they do tend to roll up. Right? So that's why I have a separate one that works extremely well with the rubber. Ready, set, and go. No talking. Let's go. Hands underneath your shoulders. Press. Press. Press, yeah? So I started on my right, then I went to my left. I always start with my right so that I don't get confused. Can easily be done. Keep your back nice and flat. Because um, sometimes when we switch legs and I want you to go back to your starting leg, you might go, I can't remember which one I started with. So try to be consistent. Good work. Ten more seconds. Yeah, how are you feeling this? Tight buttons. Four, three, two, and release. We're going to go back into your elbow plank. This time, we're going to do a nice little kick through. So all I want you to do is planking it. We're going to pull the knees through, pull the knees through. Right? You don't have to if that's too difficult. Ready? And go. So pull, 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 pull. It's kind of like doing a mountain climber, but not. Yeah? Woo! Oh, good job. Come on. It's when somebody stops talking. And I can tell you, with that extra resistance, don't stop. You got five more seconds. Four, three, two, and time. We're going to go back to your right leg. On all fours. This time we're going to go straight out to the side into a fire hydrant. We're going to do 45 seconds on one leg and 45 seconds on the other leg. On your marks, get ready and go. Lifting it up, lifting it up, lifting it up. Come on, as high as you can go to the side. And lift, and lift, and lift. Good work. Exhale. Again, that resting leg should be on fire. Good work. 20 more seconds. It's always the ones that hurt so much where you go, oh my goodness, we're only 20 seconds in. Whew. Try not to rotate from that lower back. It's just your hip doing the work. Yes? Five, four, three, two, and release. Switching it to the other leg, 15 second breather, which is not a lot when things are on fire. All right, opposite leg in five, four, three, two, and go. Right, so you notice, I'm just trying to lift my leg. I'm not rotating anything into it. Really trying to work for my outer hip. And of course, that leg is so tired already, because it's been supporting you that whole time. Don't stop. 30 seconds, come on. Oh, it catches up with you quickly, doesn't it? <laughs> As I'm laughing, my balls are wet. Come on, you gotta giggle to it. Ah. Ah. Five, four, three, two, and release. Side plank position. Bottom leg bend. We're going to hold it right here. You need to block underneath your elbow. We're going to come right up. We're going to lift that top leg straight up and down. Side plank, ready? Let's go. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. If that's too hard, keep your hip down and lifting it from here. Okay? This might be plenty. Right? So we'll lift it up on top of it. All we're engaging and adding is those obliques, the side of the abdominals. Okay, so it's up to you if you want to stay here or if you want to take it up a notch. And press. So even without the band, this is not going to be easy. Pressing it up. 
Pressing it up, 15 seconds. Uh, on fire, come on. Woo. Four, three, two, and time. Switch it over to the other side. Side plank position, right? Bottom leg bent, top leg straight. Lifting that hip or not, completely up to you. Ready? And go. Come on, lift it up and down. That leg that you're supporting on the very bottom is working also super hard, right? Good job, lifting it up. You can stay down here. Even just lifting it, that bottom hip that we just worked um, has to stabilize, right? It makes you realize that it's not just your core, how other muscles, especially when up here when they're retired, what other muscles are involved in even just being here. So when somebody goes, well, what muscle are we working? Well, you're working the elites and time. Good. Let's turn it over onto your bump. We're going to have our hands behind you. We're going to come up into a tabletop. We're going to thrust those hips up and down for one minute. Hands are just underneath your shoulders. Ready? Dig those heels in and go up. Up. Thrusting it up. If that's too hard on your elbows, shoulders, or wrists, just go back into your bridge that we did for your warm-up. Good. Press into those heels. Woo. Come on, you're 20 seconds in. Press it up. And again, if you want to prolong this workout today, you can do this whole round. Uh, donkey kick moving on two or three times, right? This workout could potentially be an hour and 15 minutes if you want it to be that. Yeah? Good job. Four, three, two, and release. Good. We're going to lay on your back. We're going to wrap, unwrap that band if you can, or you can just hang on to it. It doesn't really matter. You can leave it on. Give yourself a gentle rock side to side. How'd you do it? How's the hips? How's the bum? Yeah? How the legs? <laughs> they were looking good. They were working. Ooh, there's a nice little glute stretch, right? Just pushing those knees in. Coming up into a seated position. We're going to cross one leg over, hugging that knee and rotate, stretching through those hips. Stretching is super important, right? We never have enough time to stretch. So I always suggest spending a little more time on the end when I'm gone. To, uh, to maybe spend another five minutes in stretching if you can. And release over to the other side, wrapping that knee and nice and opening up the chest, looking behind you. So, legs, butt, a little bit of cardio today. Um, your core is involved at all times, so don't worry if you didn't do a thousand punches today, there it is involved, right? But that's what you will be doing tomorrow, right? To balance things out a little bit. Good job. We're going to slowly come up into the standing position. Don't come up too quickly. We're going to take one leg behind, stretching those quads out at the same time. Get that shoulder in there. Ah, all that oxygen in. And release. Over to the other side. Grabbing that leg, pulling the knee slightly behind that front leg, opening up your front shoulder. You did an amazing job. You should be proud of yourself, right? Pulling it right here. We're going to cross those legs over. We're going to hinge down into it. Give yourself a nice little stretch into the back of the legs, your hummies. Let your head and shoulders go. All right, rolling it up at the side. Always trying to get you enough variety through the week, right? Hopefully you're learning new things all the time. Dig it in with your back heel. Let yourself dangle. Let your head and shoulders go. It's amazing what we can do with minimal to no equipment. And up we go. Hands go behind. Give yourself a nice stretch to the chest. And your shoulders. All right. Make sure you're fueling properly today. Right? So hydrating. Making sure you get some greens in there some fruit in there, and some good protein, 
right? If you're vegetarian, you know where to get the protein from. People always ask me, like, my daughter's vegetarian. I go, where's she getting her protein from? My vegetables and beans and tofu and all that good stuff, right? So it's okay to, um, to uh, uh, kind of look at all different avenues of protein. It doesn't just have to be a piece of chicken. Okay, so thank you for coming today. My favorite is old enough, by the way. Um, thank you because it's quick and it absorbs fast. <laughs> Always not the same. Um, see you tomorrow. Our class at 12 o'clock, yoga, Pilates, fusion. It's Wednesday, the Tuesday today. So if, if you're doing this on a different day, don't worry about it. Just pick a class that is sort of balancing you out through the week. And uh, love having you here with me. My name is Sonia Badezi from Success Fitness. Make sure you like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, channel and thank you to Royal Roads Recreation Center for um, sponsoring um, some of these classes and I will be back seeing you tomorrow. Have a fantastic day.